Welcome everybody, today we are going to be playing Farming Simulator 22. Now, what we're going to do, since we really don't need to be over here right now, we are going to go ahead, wrong menu, hit start, and we're going to just tell this AI to come back. We're going to click our right stick once, and then we're going to push to the left because that's the direction we want to go to and hit right stick again and that a worker is now going to be driving right back over to our house so question kind of turns into what do you do now because yes they gave you that little guided tour showed you how to do things but they really didn't show you much or what you need to do from here. so first thing we're going to do though is we're going to go ahead and Pulled up our harvester, move it out of the way because we're really not going to need it for quite some time again. If you want to, you can actually sell it at this point because you really don't need it very often. And we're going to move our tractor out of the way here. Right over here is a little trailer for the header on our harvester. Really don't need it either. Quite honestly, most of the stuff here, we could go into our build menu and sell and take to the shop. Like this building over here. That's non-functioning. This building really does nothing at all. So, we're going to go ahead and sell that. So if we go into our shop menu, go all the way down, you can go over to the construction menu. And you can see when you highlight over this, it turns bright blue. We're going to use our right stick to select it. And we're going to sell it. It's not going to give us any money at all. It is just there as decorative. So we get zero value out of it. But it's kind of in the way over there. And we sell it. And we've got a bunch more space now. So, now we've got our field. You can see we've got a bunch of little rocks on it. Those are, I believe, all the small stones that shouldn't damage any equipment. We've got our field over here that had wheat and now just has a bunch of straw sitting at it. They don't tell you what to do. A couple little bits over here as well, but we're not going to worry about that. So... Let's keep going, and we'll see what all we can get done in a little while here. So we're going to get out of our construction menu, because I think for right now we're just going to keep everything else. The silo here can be pretty useful. We can sell our workshop here. It does nothing except being decorative and having a little bit of storage space, but all of this under here that I just fell down into... That leaves a giant pit in the ground that you have to fix. So we're not going to worry so much about it. Just use it for storage of vehicles and stuff right now because we don't need the space. It will give you a little bit of money, but we don't need it. The truck here, a lot of the time you can go ahead and just sell that as well. But I think we're also going to keep it so that we can cut down some of these trees and go sell the wood. So we've got our harvester out of the way. We'll sell this guy later. We're going to grab our cedar. We're going to go over to that field that we cultivated, but did not do anything. Come out a little bit to make it easier. And you can just completely cut over the field. You're not going to damage anything, especially since there's nothing planted there. Now we're coming back over to our field. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our start menu back up to our field and if we use our left stick to move over we'll be able to start seeing where we actually need to do things here so stones as we can see yes we've got those yellow stones that means they're the small ones that really aren't going to affect much of anything so we're going to just leave them 
we could go and either buy or lease a stone picker and clean them all out, but since they're the small ones, it's not going to really need that. So we're going to exit out of here. And we could look at what season's coming up, see what we can plant, and have a crop that we can harvest in close to a year. But what we're going to do is we're going to be a little bit smarter on this. And we're going to go and plant grass. Now, if you're brand new to this game, you're not going to realize grass is actually one of the best crops in here. It seems like I'm probably crazy by just planting grass because it's just grass. But we're going to be able to harvest that a lot more frequently than anything else. And we're going to get hay and silage out of it. And silage is one of the top selling items in here that we're going to be able to harvest all year long as opposed to once or twice. So it'll end up working out really well. Now, before we come and run our cultivator over here, which, not going to lie, when I first played this game, is I think what I did, all of this straw that's sitting here, all these big piles in the middle, we're going to collect all that. Now, we don't actually have anything to collect it with, so we're going to go to our shop by hitting our select button. We're going to come down to tools. And we have two options here. We can either get a forage wagon, which if you see that little yellow triangle down at the bottom right there means that we can collect our straw on any of those. And this is when I say that 100000 isn't much in this game. Look at the price of these. 30000 for the cheapest one. That means our 100000 isn't going to go very far. But what we're going to do instead of doing straws, we're going to come over to balers. And we're going to look at our balers. So for right now, we're going to go with this tiny little Massey Ferguson. Now, if you have mods installed, there are a lot better options. Because you have balers that will let you pick up the bale. But most bales in this game are going to be too big for you to pick up. Right there though, this little guy, it's going to make teeny tiny bales that you can pick up. So, we are going to lease it. We could buy it. Maybe should buy it. You know what, hang on. Let's check one thing before we buy it. We're going to go to our bale wrappers. And we're going to check sizes for what anything can wrap. So that'll do square 180 to 220 and 180 to 240. I think, if I remember right, that thing makes 120s. Wrappers. Which means none of these can wrap those small square bales. Wrapping them is what you have to do with the grass to turn it into silage. So, if we want a baler that we can actually wrap, we're going to have to move up in size to say that 125, which is going to be too big for us to just pick up, and we would need either a bale attachment, front loader, or something like that. Bale fork attachment. But that'll end up costing us 50000 70,000 roughly. And let's see where our wrong way, a bit of loader. So let's say that's going to be about 73,000 just to be able to move around two bales. So for right now, we're going to just go ahead and lease that little one because all we're going to do is get that straw up. Because we don't even have a mower yet for our grass. So we're going to grab it. We're in the shop. If you hit Y, you can look at changing your license plate, change the color on your license plate, or if you can change the colors of your implement, you can change the colors of your implement. Or your tractor or whatever you're buying. But if we hit X right here, like it says down at the bottom, 
it's going to say lease. And do we want to lease it for a thousand bucks? We do, because that way we'll be able to use it. It is going to cost you every day and every hour, but it's still going to be a lot cheaper than buying it. So it says we can go pick it up from the shop. We aren't at the shop. And don't make the silly mistake of running over to the shop and thinking that you can literally pick it up and carry it over here or drive it back because all it is is the baler. There's no track. Since we are not going to need our cultivator, we're going to drive it over here. We're going to select our cultivator. I always lower it first just so I'm not slamming it down, but we're going to lower it. Then we can hold... Alright, so after we lower it, we're going to just hit A to detach it, because we have it selected already. And we can then start driving away, and the cultivator is going to just sit there. And we'll take our short little trip over to the store. There's the tractor that our AI worker brought back with the trailer. We didn't bother taking off the weight on the front of the tractor, but we didn't really need to. It doesn't matter. All it's going to do is add a little bit of weight to make it a little bit easier to steer if we're towing something heavy. We're really not. We don't really need it. We'll probably sell one, maybe even both of them. It does make certain tasks a little bit easier. Like when you're running that cultivator, it does kind of help give you a little better control. shop and there is our cute little baler back up we'll hook it up and we'll drive back to our farm now we really have no use for our straw right now if we had animals, we would need some for the pens, things like that, for actually either feeding them or taking care of them to raise our, raise our yield with them. But since we don't have animals that need straw, we're just going to sell it. It's not going to give us a whole lot of money, but at least it's better than nothing. And we'll see. Maybe it's going to do more than the $1,000 it costs to rent this. If we end up costing more than what it costs to rent this, I'll let you know so maybe you don't make the same mistake I just did. Alright, worker F completed our task. That means that our grass field is now ready to go. It will start growing tomorrow, which will be next month. I don't know, the grass in my yard seems to grow constantly, but in this game it just goes little by little. So... Come over here. We are right lined up. We're going to go ahead and unfold our baler. Turn it on and lower the pickup. The nice thing with this, since it is a square baler, it will just kind of keep making bales. So all we have to do is keep driving through. We aren't going to have to worry about stopping while it makes the bale. And you can see it just kind of keeps fitting them out the back there. And those are nice little bales that we're going to be able to just pick up and put right into the back of our pickup truck. Turning radius on these is a little bit to be desired, especially on the starting tractors. So we're going to go ahead and just skip over a line and we'll come back and get it. Because I have found this is at least a little bit quicker for me than it is every single time doing a three-point turn and actually getting yourself lined back up or taking a real big wide area to turn in
or at the very least going back to what I've learned in real life, a lot quicker to mow my lawn by doing it like this than it is to just try and make sure I turn around and do stripes right next to each other. And we all know that Farming Simulator 22 is just like real life, there's nothing closer. In fact, it's probably more like real life than real life. We're going to bump our cultivator out of the way. And we'll drive for a little strip that we have right here. a wide turn so that we can come back and grab this first row. And there we go. This is unfortunately something you cannot have a worker do. They won't bail. There are a few workarounds with that on some mods. If you've got a windrow attached to the front, which will scoop everything up and spit it out in a nice little swath like we have that we're going over, they will kind of then go through and bail because the windrow, and they take it as, okay, I'm windrowing, and if the baler's on, they will still bail or make bails. But if it's not a square baler like this where it'll just keep spitting them out, you'll miss a bunch and you'll have to go back over and redo it all anyways because every time they need to stop to make the bail, they didn't stop or won't stop. So what it kind of comes down to is just get used to the bailing in here. When I first tried doing a mission in Farming Simu Simulator 22 with bailing, I absolutely hated it, largely because they don't really explain to you how to bail things. They just kind of say, go bail it. Here's all the equipment. And they don't really explain how to use the little pickups, hooks, grabbers, anything like that. So it gets really frustrating really quickly. Alright, we are all done. I grab this last account I can. So if we come over here, it'll let us actually get key to pick it up. Good. Huh. That's too bad. Is there a way that I can pick that out? There we go. Unload Baylor. Alright, we unloaded it. Now we're going to pull forwards a little bit. We are going to lift our pickup. We're going to hold our Baylor. Go ahead and detach it and leave it right there. Now, we really aren't going to use this again for a while, if ever, because we probably won't be bailing the rest of our grass over there, especially not with this little guy, because we're going to want to make silage. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to our store menu here, and we're going to go down to our little key where it says least items, and right from here we can actually return it. We don't have to go back to the store. So right there I'm going to return it. Say yes been returned and there you go now we don't have it anymore we're not paying for it anymore we don't have to take it back so let's go ahead and see about loading up our pickup here and the pickups the cars they do drive quite a bit faster than you drive quite a bit faster than those tractors. They could fit differently. Come over to it, pick it up. We are going to start loading up our truck. Now, to make it a little bit easier, we're going to go ahead and hit left button, unfold it, and that'll drop our tailgate down. It's not a huge thing, and if you accidentally go back to the menu, it's going to probably save you again. It's not a huge thing to open up that 
that trailer, keep it closed, or open up the pickup truck better, keep it closed. But just since we're going to be loading them this way, it's going to help us out a little. Now, if we used a larger baler, we wouldn't be able to pick up our balers like we are. Pick up our bales like we are. If we used one of the larger balers, we wouldn't be able to pick up the bales like we are right now and loading them into the truck. We would actually need to use a tractor or a front loader. And this does take a little bit of practice, and there are ways that you can move it around in midair magically. This is not going to look neat, clean by any match, stretch of the imagination. But it's alright, because they're going to get stacked in here, we're going to take them and sell them. Now I'm going to hold my left button, let me rotate. And it's not letting me rotate it the way I want it to. I'm going to kind of just pull it over this way. How many we can get stacked in here? Hoping to fit everything. I think we should be able to. Yeah, we just knocked that bill out of the way. One thing to be careful about if you haven't strapped them down yet as you drive, they will shift. The easy way to do that is right now, we can just go ahead and hold our RB button and hit our straps. And now everything will be locked into place. We're going to drive up to our next little spot here. We'll be able to grab a bunch of them, hold RB, and unfashion all of our straps. You can leave them strapped as well. And then just once you have it refilled, you've got to make sure to unfasten your straps and refasten them. I just wanted to know if it's going to start booting stuff around like it is right now. So we're going to get back in. Loaded. This is why auto load trailers and bales are really exciting and work really well. Those are available if you take a look in the Mod Hub page. Because you don't have to take all of this time stacking stuff up. Those are things, though, too, that once you buy them or once you download the mod, you'll have to go to the store in the in-game and actually buy them. So if you're trying to do everything really cheap like I am right now because... I'm cheap and don't want to spend any of that 100000 that I have. You're still going to be doing things this way.
and crows we have all over our field, but there's not much we can do about them. kind of wish there was some sort of scarecrow or something we could get just to keep them out of the field because it seems wrong having a bunch of crows in our field. But we are going to load up our truck here. And you guys can mock my stacking job all you want to, because it is not very great. But that's okay. It quite honestly, it doesn't really matter how well they're stacked. Either way, they're still going to do what they need to do and get where they need to go. Because as soon as we put our straps on, it's going to just lock everything down. Here. That's what awfully pants. Nothing else. Is funny. So we're going to go ahead and fasten our straps down to lock it all down again. Let's see if we can hold that to. Ooh. But we can't. All right, we're gonna keep our tailgate down. And drive background over here to where we have our last handful here. Keep hitting the wrong button. All right, now that we drove over here, we're gonna hop out. We're gonna pick up our last couple bales. And we are leaving our straps down right now, but it's okay. We'll unstrap and restrap everything. And drop you up top. Drop you. And I do know if we were alternating this, doing some this way, and then some going back and forth the other way, it would be a little more stable than it is. Physics are quite good in this game. Quite realistic most of the time. But you know what? It's still going to stay. So if we come in, we unstrap, and then we restrap. Now it's all tightened down again. And we're cold. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a quick drive around our field. Oh, or flip our truck over. All right, we get back up without... Oh, we're going to need a tractor. All right, so don't do that. If you do, though, we we'll grab our tractor. We're going to see if we can do this without a front loader. Normally, if I flip something over, I like having a front loader because you can just stick some forks underneath it and flip it back up. And we might end up having to do that. Less stinks. Alright, let's see what we Like I said, physics in here are pretty good. If you overload your truck or your trailer, you might flip it.
There we go. Just the tap. Okay. Now that we write it up our truck, write our truck back up. We're going to be a lot more cautious with it. Because now we know we're about ready to flip it over again. Okay, so we're going to get back to driving around our field here. Very carefully turning. And our field does not have any more bales sitting on it. So we know we are now good to go sell things, which we're going to have to do very carefully. Now, when it comes to selling things, though, the other thing they don't really explain to you is you're going to want to take a look at your menu before you do sell anything. So if you scroll down to your prices here, this will list what everything is selling at and where it's selling for those prices. So before you just go right back to that same spot we were at, we're going to take a look at this. So we can see we are selling at the same price, $100.00 at either the animal dealer or biomass. If we hit X on here though, it's going to show our fluctuations. So $100 is the lowest selling point it's at. We're not going to sell these yet. And that is $100 per liter, I believe. I don't remember how much was in each one of these little bales, but we're going to make a decent amount of money off of it. If we wait a few months, though, until January, when it goes up to about 150, we're going to be making quite a bit more. That'll be, what, an extra 50% per bale? Or 50% per liter, per unit that we're selling? Now that we know we're going to be waiting here, we're going to bring our truck over and we're going to make use of our big old workshop here. Actually, we're going to go back right to where the truck was parked to begin with. That has just enough clearance. Ah, a good bit of clearance. We're going to just park our truck and leave it because it's going to be a few months. I don't see using this truck again. We probably should just sell the truck 